This is my background music Cause I don't wanna get copyrighted So I made my shit to this beat Kinda laying low key But join the team Subscribe, subscribe What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel Or welcome to my channel I'm Deja Hello This is Mona Bing That's Bree Boom I told you guys to add, um, tell me something that you wanted our advice on. So that's just what we're going to be doing. So I have all this sh from Instagram. <laughs> shh, shh. We're in quarantine. We bored. We ain't got nothing to do. Bored. I'm bored. This Bree is <laughs> hide it. Bree trying to sip on her local over there. <clears throat> Somebody said they need advice on the best things to do to prevent leaking on your period while you sleep. If you bleed that heavy, you need to wear a tampon or get an overnight pad. It's overnight. It, it like wrap to your front and hit the back yeah, at the same so time. you don't leak out. Yeah. Oh wow. I wear two. Wow. <laughs> this person said they need advice on their ex. He loves her to death. She left me, and I want her back. What's the problem? I feel like it's an ex for a reason. Yeah. Once you take the trash and she out, left you, I feel like move on. You better than all that. She thought the grass was greener on the other side and it wasn't, and now she wants you back. My motto is: once you take the trash out, you never bring it back in. Yeah. Well, that's not always true. Unless you got something in there that you lost. <laughs> they need advice on breaking up with someone you've been with for a long time. Do it. Be honest. To have a clean breakup, or at least try to, you have to talk. Even when you guys are both at, like mm -hmm. both sides, not just you, because you might want to end it and the other person want to end it, and it's like. No, but I feel like if she wants to end it, I feel like she should. Mm -hmm. Like your happiness comes before anything. Right. Or yeah. the relationship would not. And uh, there, it has to be a reason. Yeah, right? there's got to be a reason. If there's you're already reason. asking that question, there's a reason. There's a reason. Any advice on dating a guy eight years older? I can tell that he loves me so much, but he's wealthy, and I feel like I don't fit in. If he, he wealthy? <laughs> <laughs> Sign up. <laughs> okay, so you feel uncomfortable. Is it because he's wealthy or is it because he's eight years older? I feel like talking to somebody older than you, of course you're going to have that insecurity of feeling like you're childish to them because yeah. you're younger than them. I think age is a mindset, like dead ass. So maybe she doesn't mindset. fit in with like his, I think this is his friends. <laughs> Bitch, answer the questions. Do it. Do what? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like she don't fit in with his crowd. Maybe because they're like Older. really sophisticated people. Like as that long as y'all like, are solid, like the two of you are solid, it yeah. shouldn't really matter what other people really gotta say. But maybe she's saying she don't feel, fit in because like his friend group and shit. Then fuck the friend group. Do you already know that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're doing it so well. So give me advice on remaining friends with your ex. Breathe like that one. You do yourself. <laughs> okay, advice on her ex boy. Wait, why? <laughs> okay, okay, look, look, look. He's <laughs> hitting me. Because he's not friends. <laughs> Why would an ex-boyfriend want to be friends with his ex-girlfriend even though he's in a relationship? Mm -hmm. He don't love her. He I don't like respect that. her. Mm -mm, I, I wouldn't like that. It's mm -hmm. not respectful to the relationship. To the relationship, or to no. You, the no. person he's in a relationship. I so I feel like yeah. if you feel uncomfortable, you should let him know. And if he don't change nothing, let him go. Let it go. Let it go. Say how to make you my girl. They need advice on how to make I can mm -hmm. yeah, give you five. What? I can't do it to you. I want to hear you the gotta five. You got to have light skin, money, curly hair, maybe some guns. Six five. That's why we're there. <laughs> I mean, like. You got to dress. Wait, this is this is good for Bree. They need advice on how to restart their iPhone. She said, I'm for real struggling, sis. Help me. I used to work for two months. Look, don't it do like doom, doom, doom. You got to go click. up, down, up, hold the off button. Hold the button. Google it. How about that? Right, right, right. Because it's called, what is it called? It's different. To force than, restart. Force restart. Force restart it because I had to do that to my old phone. They need advice on being consistent with your goals. We were just talking about that. Wow. Oh, me personally, I do a weekly and a monthly. Okay. So at the end of every week, where am I towards that goal? And okay. At the end of every month, where do I want to be? And if I don't reach that every week, I'm doing some rock. Nice. Yeah, you should do that. Yeah. That's just right out of you the see journal. It. Once you see it, I have my, you know, my weekly life. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You see me? Any advice on relationships as a teenager? Don't, Don't do, do them. 
<laughs> right? Don't do no, them. Anything before 18 don't count. Don't do them. Live your life. Yes. Like, you shouldn't be worried about a boy or a girl. Like, live your life. Learn to love yourself. Have fun. Right. Have fun. Do something with your friends. Go crazy. Go stupid. So, I'm living with my ex and he wants to be with me. What should I do? Because I have a crush. Move. You live with your ex and y'all broke up. What if they're in the lease and they can't move? Stay at your mama's house. Oh, oh. Like there's not. I feel like they're your ex for a reason. Yes. Go to somebody. Why do I Pursue the, like the, 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 the crush. Ready. Pursue the crush. So they need advice on decoding text <laughs> messages from dude. What kind of text messages? I hate oh, when little hood babies when they be texting. Oh my god. And they be replacing A's with X's and K's with I's. And K's with L's. L's. Mm -hmm. It's just like, huh? I hate texting <clears throat> what you call it. You know. I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But what do you mean like decoding text messages? Messages from dudes. I feel like if a dude like you, you shouldn't have to decode anything. Right. They like you should know. Up. <laughs> what? Okay. What kind of message would you have to decode from a nigga, like a dude? People that are really like dry <laughs> texts, but like in person, y'all like cool. So they should Facetime. Don't text them. There you go. How to move on from being with someone for five year, five plus years? You gotta let them go. Let them go. You gotta let them go. Yeah, let them go. And just worry about yourself and your goals. <laughs> Need advice on females? How do I get her to care more? You can't force nobody yeah. to care. If yeah. She don't care. She don't care. You can't change anybody, especially if they grow. Like that's how they are. So I feel like if you really like the person, you just gotta love them for them. But if you feel like you deserve more, go get more. Find your more. Because there's people out there that express they don't have problems. Yeah. Expressing their feelings. But it could be a communication thing. I guess it all stems down to communication. Communication and comprehension. Like, yeah. When I said how to deal with people disappointing you when they say they will stay no matter what. I feel like that's very, very like manipulative. That is toxic. Those are empty words. Yeah. Okay, this guy says, how do I know when she's the one? You would know. You would know. You, you wouldn't even have, have to ask. It's a feeling. It's like. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't even have to ask. If she's yeah. the one, you would know. Mm -hmm. And like if you're, anything if you're she cool. does brightens you up, like no matter what she do, she do something stupid, you'd be like, you would know. So you questioning it? Maybe she not. Yeah. Maybe she not there yet. Maybe she is the one for you, but like it's not no, the time. Like you, know. you would know like literally you right off the bat. Like that's yeah. why people be saying like love they, at first yes. sight type shit. I believe in that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I feel like when that per when you vibe good with a person, like you know, advice on moving out. Do move it. out. <laughs> move out. How to make genuine friends? I'm literally the coolest laid back female ever. They need advice on how to make friends. Oh God, I don't, don't have ask friends. Me. Yeah. <laughs> I tried. I never really had to go out my way to make a friend though. It's like hard. not to sound like cocky, but I feel like me. Like I just vibe. I just with yeah. If yeah, we don't vibe, I attract. I attract yeah, people. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> Long distance relationships. I don't know about them. Sorry. I don't that, know about them. I, I couldn't do it personally. Uh, if y'all don't build like a strong foundation, then there's nothing. This person I'm 16, I feel like I'm not living my life to the fullest. You Baby girl, you're 16. You, you can't do life. nothing. You're 16. Focus you, on school. You literally cannot do anything. I feel it though. My parents like, why do I take this so personal? Be no, that's like, the best when, advice when you're, though. When you're that young, when we were 16, it was like, damn, I wish I could be doing this, this, and that. But like now being older than 16, it's like you really can't do nothing when you're 16. Yeah. But I feel like, like you're still young. When you're with family that's like super, super like overprotective, they don't mm -hmm. let you do nothing. You can't go nowhere. You can't see nobody. You really feel like you're not doing nothing. But you could be 16 and you ain't hanging out with your friends. You ain't going to prom. So maybe that's what you she ain't going means. to homecoming. Alright, no, no, no. What I feel like, honestly, is social media that's making you feel like that. Yeah. That's yeah. what because it is. Because teenagers like, now are are grown. Yeah. So their parents aren't their parents. You're seeing shit and seeing other people's lives, and that's not really their lives. Like people on social media, they only show you what's good enough for social mm -hmm. media. Right. So you're looking at all this other shit and all this other shit people have and you want it and shit like that and you're like damn i'm not living my best life that's why i feel like social media is really like stupid it's it brings a lot of insecurities mm -hmm. to younger kids to that to people grown people's relationships to yes yeah, social media is very corrupted yeah social media is so toxic it's society so toxic. is terrible now and you're probably living your best little life that you you're can 16. at the age of 16. Yeah, 16. But you're looking at somebody who looks 16 when they actually 25. Go the other way. 
Be 16 yeah. and they look 25. They 16 act in 25. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's right. right. So you're 16. Be 16. Enjoy your 16 life. I was ugly as hell when I was 16. <laughs> I was ugly as hell when I was 16. You gotta be ugly, enjoy. These it. kids nowadays don't have an ugly face. Yes. That's not fair. They do makeup. That's because that's because they act and grow. They yeah. start doing makeup when they like seven, bitch. My mama was not going for that. I wasn't allowed to wear makeup to high school. Bitch, yeah. I don't wear makeup now. You don't need it. But even if I did, my mama was not going yeah, she for beat it. My, she beat me. Anyways, I feel like that would conclude the video. Because what are we talking about? Can we take a thumbnail? Oh, um, outro. That's the outro, the baby's awake. <laughs> Go get your son. <laughs> Bye.